Well, good morning, everyone. Glad that you're here on this Thursday morning as we look into the Word of God together. I want to take you to Acts chapter 9 this morning and verses 32 through 43 speak to us. And if you have an opportunity this morning or today sometime, take your Bible and open it and go to that passage. Acts chapter 9, verses 32 through 43. Verse 41 is the one that stands out to me this morning, and here's what the scripture reads. Peter took her by the hand and helped her to her feet. Then he called the believers, especially the widows, and presented her to them alive. That's Acts chapter 9, verse 41. Now today's story in scripture provides a glimpse into the spirit of God's work through the apostle Peter. The book of Acts tells of big moments like Pentecost, but it also highlights how individuals' lives are changed by the ministry of Jesus' disciples. A man who was paralyzed and had been bedridden for eight years hears Jesus, or hears Peter say, Jesus Christ heals you, get up. And his life was changed, and many people in the local area turned to Jesus. Another person whose life was changed was Tabitha, also known as Dorcas. She became sick and died, and many people were mourning her death. When Peter arrived, many widows showed him the clothing that Dorcas had made for them. Peter prayed to the Lord, and God brought her back to life again. Mourning, or sadness, turned into dancing and more people came to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Are these merely good stories of a distant time in the life of the church, or are they something more? Here's my point. God is still at work in this world. The news media may not pay attention, but we know that the Church of Jesus Christ is still called to touch the lives of others, one life at a time. And we can come alongside people who are hurting and point them to the healing and hope that only comes through Jesus Christ. My brothers and sisters, who in your life are the Dorcases or the crippled ones that God wants to change through your testimony? Let's pray. O God of healing and hope, we glorify your name on this Thursday morning. And we pray that our testimony would be so strong of the work of Jesus in our life that someone today, someone's life today will be changed because of Jesus Christ and his working in our life. Use us, Lord, today we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.